Today, I'm gonna to be making the Betty Crocker Cookie Cups. This is a limited edition holiday sugar cookie kit. It includes the sugar cookie mix, vanilla frosting, holiday sprinkles, and paper baking cups. You will need butter and a muffin tin. These were $3.99 at Target. And so right here, uh, this is one third cup of melted butter. And then in the white bowl, that is one tablespoon of water. So here's your muffin cups, your cookie cup mix, your frosting, and your little sprinkles. So the frosting and the, the uh, sprinkles you can set to the side. The muffin, you want to um, preheat your oven to 375 and they usually give you like one or two extra of these if it's like we've had in the past. There are two extra and I keep those because I'll use them at some other time. Uh, that's just how I do it. Uh, but you want to take your cookie cup mix and pour it in a medium sized bowl and then stir in your water and melted butter. Now you want to take your dough and drop it. It's said by tablespoons. Um, I'm really not good at judging uh, sizes <laughs> uh, for stuff like this. So I just go through and put a little bit in each cup and then I'll go back and fill in more. And we're also going to, once we've used up all of our dough, we're gonna flatten this out into the bottom. gotten all these flattened out we're gonna bake these for 12 minutes and it says the edges will not brown so this is how they look after 12 minutes and like I said they will not get um, brown the edges but you want to take this is a tablespoon and you just want to take it and push it in on each one of these and then they're, you're gonna let these cool completely packet you squeeze it for about 15 seconds just so that you can uh, get it out of here easily and then you want to cut a corner and then you're going to squirt some in uh, into each cup so just uh, like I did with the uh, the dough I'll put a little in and then if I have some left I'll go back and fill in where it's needed Take your sprinkles and um, add your sprinkles to the top. I'll show you how easy they come out of the cups. So, and you can see there's like butter residue in the bottom. So that's how they look. I'm very excited to try these because from the very beginning, right when you open that pouch of powder, the dough, it smells so incredibly sweet. It smells like a bakery. It's mm -hmm. very, very strong vanilla. And then once you bake these, they smell ultra, ultra sweet. So I'm looking forward to this. It says, there's 12 servings, of course. Three tablespoons of mix plus topping, 33 grams, makes one cookie cup. As prepared, they're 180 calories a piece. You would have to weigh them. You're never going to know because you're never going to get it perfectly even. Uh, you just have to enjoy them. Uh, so, I know, I try to pick the one with the most stuff. This one is so beautiful. I don't know if you all could hear that at home, 
But sprinkled just hit the floor. <laughs> it's rolling everywhere. It's those little balls. Just know that if you have kids, <laughs> but even if you don't, if you have a big kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tilted it and they rolled out of the box. That is absolutely. That's as good as I hoped it would be. It's it's definitely sweeter and has more vanilla flavor than a traditional sugar cookie because I think sugar cookies are boring. Mm -hmm. um, this has a lot more flavor of than just a plain boring sugar cookie. It has, plus it has frosting. Mm -hmm. It's very buttering, mm -hmm. very, very buttering. And I think a lot of people would not be able to handle the sweetness level of that because it is, it'll make your teeth hurt. That's how sweet it is. But I think it's wonderful. I like super, super sweet things. I think these are so pretty and festive. You could buy a box of these and if you have a little uh, tray with a couple layers, you can put these on that tray. Perfect for a party. Mm -hmm. uh, you To store them, you just cover them. It says store in airtight container. Um, it says add two, tape, uh, two teaspoons of the sprinkles to dry cookie mix. Oh! So, so you could mix it in. Yeah, and that we do have extra sprinkles. So there would have been enough if you had wanted. I didn't even see that. That's what I get for not reading the directions. She never reads the directions ahead of time. Never. Ever. She never. should. I should, but I don't. But you didn't have to. No, it was an option. It was an option. But if you want to make them more festive and prettier and have the green and red color in the cookie itself, you could totally do that. Then it, again, I'd prefer them without any sprinkles at all. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So, did you get... I didn't get the dye or anything. It's just the texture. I'd rather just have the soft, chewy cookie mm -hmm. instead of getting those crunchy sprinkles in there. But I've always been like that. I, I was, was going to say it's too light because I, I dumped them all over every single yeah. one of them. It, it, they're good. It's just a personal thing, you know? I'll be honest, though. You could eat those just the base without any frosting by itself because they're good. it's so buttery. It would be more of just a plain sugar cookie. It would cookie. be a plainer sugar cookie, yes. That's, it would taste just like, it, that's what you're making is a sugar yeah. cookie. Yeah. Um, They're very good. Yeah, I think this is delicious. I think this would be fun for kids. Super I think easy. There's a lot of things that kids can do. You mm -hmm. know, kids can can make the little cups. Kids can can do a lot of this stuff. You just have to be patient as the parent while they're doing it. So, so Which is the hard part. It is the hard part. So 180 calories per cup? I don't think that's bad. Not bad. No, no. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.